I tell y'all, when I went into Walmart today and saw the meat department looking like this, my arm went numb. <laughs> I thought, what has happened? Have the, has the meat apocalypse happened? Thankfully, the cooler just went out, so hopefully that's going to be better. Let's talk about how you level up in this game. Today I got horseshoes coming down the path. <laughs> yeah, I love living in the country. Being able to see folks riding horses around every once in a while, cows everywhere, goats, chickens. You ought to hear it around here in the morning. It sounds like uh, animal farm or something like that. Hey, I want to talk to you guys today about something that uh, I have found really helps out a lot if you are having a hard time staying consistent with uh, doing your exercise. I find sometimes it's difficult because my schedule can be so chaotic, but I also like the change a little bit. I talked in the past about how I like things to be more routine, but you have to break up your routine some, otherwise you'll get bored with it. Sometimes I break up my routine a little bit too much, and that's when it gets to be difficult on the other end. It's kind of a delicate balance we have to, to walk to go between having a good routine and a routine that uh, makes us bored and makes us stop. So it's, uh, it's always a challenge. But one of the things I found that was interesting is the way that video games work, is they, they keep giving you little pushes in the right direction. Um, I've done a lot of that in my life, so I wanna try to apply some of it for something that's useful. The thing about video games that keep you addictive is you see quick progress on small areas but you're not distracted by the small progress on the big area. Like for instance, when you're if you're playing one of those games where you capitalism building type game where you're doing money uh, on one spot and then another spot and then another spot and you open it up and you open it up, you keep getting these small victories that makes it easy for you to keep pressing on because you're like, ah yeah, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. But in reality, you're just doing the same dumb thing over and over for 30 minutes on your phone wasting your battery and your time. Well, when you're doing exercise, it's not a whole lot different in the sense of the reward because if you decide to go on that walk, when you decide that you're gonna go for a mile long walk or a two mile long walk or three or even more, when you achieve that, you get that little dopamine rush that comes from achieving a goal. Plus, I have found that, if, especially if you have the right attitude when you go into exercising, as it is a reward for your day, if you're doing it at the end of the day, I like to do them at the beginning of the day, I'm doing it at the end of the day today because the beginning of the day got away from me. Oh, I missed it, the rabbit. Darn it, I almost caught a rabbit crossing the street. He's still there, he just hid in the grass. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like the dog on up. Squirrel! But as I was saying, you know, the, the, those games, they give you small incentives to keep going because you see small progresses. And it's hard to see uh, progress when you're exercising, but trust me, it does come. You got to focus on those little battles as being victories. And if you get a string of victories, make sure when you reward yourself, you don't reward yourself with something that takes you down a level. You know, when you're playing a video game, if you get to the highest level on a particular section, you usually get something that helps you beat the next level, not something that's going to set you back to the previous level. You know, and we like to decide we're going to we're going to go ahead and eat a piece of candy or eat uh, drink something we shouldn't drink or have a milkshake or some some other treat we call it but really we've just set back the victories that we we put forward and that's definitely no way to reward yourself because uh that'll become self-defeating real fast you'll be doing all this work and you won't be seeing any progress so i thought about it for a while and i said how would i translate this game strategy to something that i could explain to my kids i often use things in game strategy to explain life to them because they understand games and you got to get something that's going to help it click in their head and uh even though it involves writing that's the hard part getting kids to write is the hardest thing in the world but i'm going to tell you writing is the most important way to learn how to think but writing down your goals and writing down the things that you achieve 
will be very important for your personal checking off those boxes of things that you wanted to do that would be rewarding. If you do that, you'll get that same little dopamine kick as you check those boxes each day. You plan what you're gonna do today when you wake up. Or maybe you plan your whole week out. It depends on how dedicated you are to what you're gonna do. But at least every day I try to have a plan on how I'm gonna approach the day when I wake up. And since I've been waking up early because of this diet, that has really helped. As long as I can focus my attention first thing in the morning on setting those plans. So I encourage you to do the same thing that I try to do, which is to try to focus in, that, in the morning on what you want to achieve today. And then when you start checking those boxes off at the end of the day, you're gonna be a lot happier with how you perform that day. You keep a notebook like that and you start to see successes building up. Even when you don't see the weight coming off right away, you see the progress you're making and you stick with it. And you don't reward yourself by unrewarding yourself. I'm gonna finish up this walk. I had to get some time in before the sun goes down. It's on its way down over here. It was a little too hot to take Sam out, but it's getting just cool enough to really enjoy the walk. So if you haven't done it today, if you haven't said, screw it, I'm gonna get up and do it, what are you waiting for? It's time to go for that walk. If you haven't started eating the right foods, maybe a diet like lion diet or carnivore or keto or something that's gonna help you get the weight off and feel younger and healthier and stronger again for your family, stop waiting. Let's start today. That's all I got for you now. I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?